Dr. Joseph Mengel was a Nazi SS officer during the Holocaust. He was also known as the Angel of Death. He was born on March 16, 1911 and died on February 7, 1979 at age 67. He served in the Holocaust as an SS officer from 1938 to 1945. Before the war, he was a regular doctor, but when it started, he was the only doctor that wanted to know more about plants. So the Nazis let him do experiments. He was known for doing experiments on twins and dwarfs. When people would come to the camp on cattle cars, he would be the one selecting people to go to the death chambers or to go to work. One of the sets of twins that he experimented on was Eva Kor and Mary Moses. They lived in a little town where they were the only Jews. So they never expected the Nazis to go to that town for just six people. They lived with their parents and two older sisters. While they were in the cattle car on their way to Auschwitz, they were crammed and not able to move. Eva Kor said that while there in the car, her dad kept praying and he was the one in charge of the cattle car, so if anyone escaped, he would be killed. During selection, Dr. Mengel came up to them and asked if they were twins and told their mom that it was a good thing. And so she said yes. He took them away without even giving them a chance to say goodbye. And this was the last time they had seen their mom and before they had been split up with their dad and sisters. They never saw their family again. After they were taken to, the, to a building with bed bunks and a lot of other twins were there. While they were there, they were taken three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays to go um, to testing. At testing, the nurses would measure every part of their bodies and compare it with the other twins. It took hours. The other days of the week, they would be taken to the lab to get injections. They would take blood from them and then inject them with many different substances. Eva remembers that she thought about how they could take so much blood from her because she thought she had barely any left. She also remembers the day she got injected with four things at a time. And that night she got a severely high fever and chills, but she knew that some twins would leave and come back if they're sick and then the nurses would take the other twin and they wouldn't come back either. So she got sick and didn't want to show it because she wanted to live. So when it came to her getting all her measurements done, they took her and put her in a certain area with two other girls that had chicken pox. And when dinner time came around, they didn't get any food because the, the nurses didn't want to waste food on the people they thought they were going to die. When the Soviets started bombing the area, the German officers got everyone who was alive and walked miles upon miles to get to this hidden camp. But Eva and Miriam and some other twins and a mother stayed. Once everyone was gone, they were able to go out and get food from the cafeteria. They grabbed all that they could hold and went back to the bunks to eat. When they went to the, get food, there was a really nice meal on the table that the German officials ate at. Eva thought about getting that food, but it looked like a scam to her. They would later find out that the food the Germans had left had a poison that would kill them if they had eaten it. Two girls died from overeating because they ate too much and it shocked their bodies. After a couple days of doing this, the Germans came back to destroy any evidence of the crematorium. When they came back, they made everyone left go on a death march to another consecration camp miles away where the Germans would soon leave everyone with no food or water. Then the Soviets would soon come and rescue Eva, Miriam, and all the other people that lived. Later in life, Eva gave Miriam one of her kidneys because the stuff that Mangle injected into Miriam's kidneys made her kidneys not grow past the size of a 12-year-old. Shortly after, Miriam died from kidney cancer. Every year, Eva visits the concentration camps. She founded the Candles Holocaust Museum to educate people about Mengel's test. She died on July 4th, 2019 while visiting Germany. To this day, scientists still don't know what was in the injections Mengel gave her. There were leftover tubes of liquid, but they still haven't been tested.